In this video, I'm going to show you how you can blend two materials together, including the displacement map, the normal map, and the roughness. Here right now, I'm just blending the two materials together, the rocky road and the sand. And if you turn more of the sand, you can see that the sand is popping out with the displacement map covering the rocks over here. And if I completely disable the sand, you can see the rocks are showing over here with the displacement active. The idea behind blending two materials is if you have this rocky path over here, you can blend it with sand, just like here in my example. But for example, if you walk in different areas and you want the same rocky pattern, you can blend it with moss, you can blend it with dirt, you can blend it with puddles, etc. The idea is to have one material which will be the basic material for your game, for the paths of your game, for the roads, etc. And then start blending it between environments. In this example, I'll show you how you can blend your rocky path with some sand over here. By blending those two textures, I include the normal map blending, I include the roughness, I also include the displacement. So when you start blending between those two, if I turn all the way up the sand, you can see the displacement is working from the sand. And if I turn all the way down the sand, you can see how the other displacement is working right now. And if we have mixture of two, let me just play the game. You can see how the both displacements are blending. You can have this little sand between the rocks and you can have rocks on top of the sand. So let's get started and show you how to blend those materials seamlessly. If you watched my previous video, you already know that my channel is demonetized. So I've decided to switch to Patreon. Becoming a Patreon member, you support me and this channel to keep evolving, to keep creating more and more interesting videos. Besides that, you have access to all the files that I've created from the start of my YouTube channel. So right now you can download the water shader, you can download the auto material from my previous video. If you didn't watch it, go and watch it. And you can have access to more in-depth videos about how the things work, like the auto material, the water shader, and a few more videos. And also you will have access to a VIP Discord server only dedicated to my Patreon members, where I am active most of the time. So if you want to support the growth of this channel, and if you want to see more and more videos like this, go to my Patreon page, and enroll now, and also you will have access to everything that I'm creating. Thanks everyone. So the first step to create this material is you need to create a master material. So right click, go to your materials, go to material and name it master material textures blend. All right. This is our initial setup. Double click on it. And let's start with the first texture that we need to blend. So I'm going to right click and search for texture sample. And then this texture sample, I'm going to right click and I'm going to convert to parameter so we can hook up some textures over here. I'm going to rename it to texture one, texture one albedo. This will hold our albedo. For the group, I'm going to name it textures. And for the sort priority, I'm going to put zero. Right now, this texture will be my sand. Over here in my uh, folder, I downloaded a few textures from Quixel. You can find the textures by putting this code, the last one, inside Quixel bridge. And the next one is rocks. So I'm going to blend between the sand and the rock. And I'm going to put my sand as a first texture. So right here, we are just linking our albedo. So let me expand this a little bit. And drag and drop your albedo texture over here to our texture sample. So right now we have the parameter for our albedo. I'm going to control D to duplicate this one. Move it all the way down. And I'm going to name this texture 1. And I'm going to put name Roughness Specular Ambient Occlusion. For the sort priority, I'm going to put 1. I'm going to scroll all the way down. And I'm going to put my Roughness over here. The next step is to duplicate this one one more time. So select it, Control D to duplicate. And here it will be Texture 1 Normal. So here we're going to put our normal map. As our previous priority was 1, here will be 2. Then I'm going to scroll all the way down. And I'm going to connect my normal map. And finally, we need to duplicate this one more time. I'm going to duplicate. And this will work for my displacement. And I'm going to name it displacement. And the sort priority will be number three. For the displacement, I'm going to scroll all the way down. And I'm going to drag and drop my displacement over here. The sample type will be alpha as we are working in a grayscale gamma. I'm going to expand this one. I'm going to select it. I'm going to put comment. And I'm going to name 
textures one and i'm going to click show on bubble when zoomed so this group is holding our texture one samples the next thing that we are going to do is we need to create the absolute world position and tiling so i'm going to right click and search for world position and this is our world position that we are going to use for the shader offset, I'm going to use the absolute world position, including material shader offsets. The next step is to mask only the RNG channel. I'm going to right click, mask, component mask, and we're going to filter only the RNG channel. I'm going to connect the XY over here to the mask RG. And after that, I'm going to multiply because I want to create the tiling. I'm going to connect the masking to A and I'm going to hold one on my keyboard because I'm creating a constant. I'm going to right click and convert this constant to a parameter so we can have it out in the material as a setting. I'm going to name it tiling. And for the tiling, I'm going to put a default value of 0.001. This will be my default value. For my slider minimum value, I'm going to put 0.301. And for the slider maximum, 0.01. For the group, I'm going to name it controls. And for the priority, I'm going to put zero. So this will be the first control that we are going to use the tiling. I'm going to connect it to B. And after that, I'm just going to reroute. Add name reroute declaration node. And I'm going to name it AWP reroute. AWP stands for absolute world position. I'm going to comment this. Absolute world position and tiling. And I'm going to click show bubble when zoomed. Okay. So right now we have the absolute world position and we need to control the UVs of our texture based on the world position. So I'm going to right click, name reroute, absolute world position, and I'm going to connect it to each of the nodes over here to the UVs, to the UVs, and one more to the UVs. Okay, so right now we have everything set up for texture one. What I need to do is I need to duplicate this one. So control C, control V. And I'm going to rename this as textures 2. And this is the second texture that I am going to blend with. And we're going to start modifying the texture samples. The first one, we need to tell it that it will be texture 2. Again, it will be in textures. The last one is texture with set sort priority of 3. I'm going to change the sort priority to 4. And I'm going to connect my other Obido texture, which is the rock one. Connect it over here. I'm going to scroll the way down. Texture number two. This was sort priority four. This is sort priority five. Let's scroll all the way down. Connect the roughness. Move on to the normal one. Connect the normal map. Move all the way up to normal. Let me check. This was five. So this is six. All right. Move to the displacement. This is seven. Texture number two. Scroll all the way down, connect your displacement over here. I'm going to maximize and we have our textures here working pretty good. The next step is we need to lure between those two textures. So we need to connect this one and this one and lure between it and the roughness and the normal and the displacement. OK, so let's do this. I'm going to hold L on my keyboard to search for lerp or you just right click warp, which is the linear interpolate. Click over here. And let's start connect the first one. The first one is our texture one albedo goes to the B slot. Then the texture two albedo goes to A. Let's duplicate this one more time. And we're going to connect our roughness over here to B. And the second roughness to A. We're going to do that one more time for the normal map. Connect this to B. Connect this the second one to A. And one more time for the displacement. Duplicate this one. First one to B, second one, we're going to connect to A. I'm going to select all the lerps and I'm going to put the text lerp the textures. I'm going to click show bubble when zoomed. And right now we need alpha. Alpha will be controlling our height lerping. Okay. Then after this, what I'm going to do before we create the alpha is I'm going to start connecting it. The first one is our base color. So it works for the base color. The second lerp, I'm going to destruct all the channels over here because our first channel will hold roughness, the second channel will hold specular, and the third one will hold our ambient occlusion. So right now the red channel will be for roughness, 
the green channel will be for specular and the blue channel will hold our ambient occlusion. So let's break this down. How to break it? Search for mass component and let's break it down. First, we have the roughness. I'm gonna connect over here. Then I'm gonna duplicate this one. Let's have the green channel and let's have the blue channel for the ambient occlusion. Connect all the three over here. We're just breaking up the channel and connect it. My blue channel go to ambient occlusion, my green channel go to roughness, and my red channel goes to specular. I'm just gonna comment this one and I'm gonna name it masking for channels. Okay, so right now we have our masking and I did a little mistake over here with the naming. The first one should be our specular, so it's our specular, then it's our roughness. And then I'm gonna fix this on the second one. So it's our specular. Uh, the red channel and our roughness is the green channel okay so we fix that the next one is our normal channel over here so let's connect this to our normal and the final warp will go into our displacement and the last thing that we need to make is we need to control the alpha over here the displacement itself so let's create this i'm going to right click and search for texture sample and the first texture sample will be fitted with the information from the displacement. That is how I use the height map. So if you can uh, click here on the magnifier glass, I'm using the displacement as my texture sample for the height. So just drag and drop your displacement over here. And I'm going to use the second displacement for the height information of the sand. So I'm just going to duplicate this one, move it over here, go to sand and just connect the second displacement over here. So we're going to get the information from the rocks and the sand. So we are going to get the information for the height from the displacement maps. And this will control us the blend based on the height. The next thing is we need to get the information of the UVs. So right click AWP reroute connected to the UVs over here. Then let's start calculating the height. The first thing is we need texture coordinate. So right click texture coordinate. And after you have the texture coordinate, we need to isolate only the red channel. So I'm going to drag here, component mask, and I'm going to isolate the red channel. I need to turn on the red channel. Then the next thing is we need to saturate a little bit, saturate. After the saturation, we need to subtract with 0 0.5 in order to normalize it, subtract. And the subtract will be with 0 0.5. And after the subtract, I'm going to add our second texture to those calculations over here. I'm going to hold A on my keyboard, click, RGB will go to A, and the subtract will go to B. After that, I'm going to multiply, so hold M on my keyboard, left click, I'm going to connect my subtract to the multiply, I'm going to align it over here. And the next control that we need is the blend power. Here we're going to control the blend power. I'm holding one on my keyboard, left click, right click again and convert to parameter. Name this parameter blend power, blend power. And the blend power will hold a default value of one. We hold a slider minimum of 0 0.62 and a slider maximum of 1.5. We're going to select the group controls and I'm going to put sort priority of three. This blend power will go to the multiply B note over here. After that, I'm just gonna move my add over here so we align them together. After that, we need to add the blend power, the multiply to the first texture. So I'm gonna hold A on my keyboard. I'm gonna connect to RGB over here. And I'm gonna connect my multiplied node to the B channel because we're adding the power also to the first texture, okay? Then we need to subtract, subtract. And we are going to subtract the second texture from the first one. So the second texture from the add node will go over here. And the first texture will go to B. So we are subtracting our second texture from our first texture. And we are using the blend power to blend between those two. And we are multiplying it with a blend power. Moving on, we need a smoothness parameter with a division node. So I'm going to search for divide node. Divide node. And I'm going to divide by a parameter. So I'm going to duplicate this parameter, control C, control V. I'm going to name this parameter smoothness, smoothness. And the smoothness will hold 0 0.2 for the slider minimum 0 and for the slider maximum 0.5. This will hold a sort priority of 1. 
and I'm going to connect it to the divide node over here. The next step is we need to add one more parameter which will be our additional smoothness, a little bit more control on the blend. So I'm going to right click, add, connect the divide node to the add node and then duplicate this parameter and name this additional smoothness. Additional smoothness, okay? The parameters will be 0 0.2, the default value will be 0 0.2, the slider minimum minus 1.5 and the slider maximum 2.5. The control group will stay the same and let's put for the sort priority to connect this all the way to B and I'm gonna add a comment over here to the additional smoothness and I'm gonna add a comment over here. So this additional smoothness works only when you have smoothness above 0 0.1. So for example, if this smoothness is below 0 0.1, this parameter won't work at all. All right, so this additional smoothness will work above 0 0.1. Then what we are going to do finally is we need to saturate again, connect it over here, and then we need to reroute it, reroute so we can use it. And I'm gonna name this height map reroute, height map reroute, okay? And this is our height map controls. Let me just move this over here. I'm gonna select everything, comment, Height map control. I'm going to click show bubble when zoomed. And finally, what we need to do is we need to connect the height map over here to all the alphas. So I'm going to right click height map reroute and connect it to the alphas everywhere. All right, I'm going to save it. And we've created our master material for our texture blend. Now we need to create a material instance. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to create material instance, MI2 textures blend. Okay. Then select your landscape, close this, drag and drop your material over here. After that, open your material instance and enable everything over here. So we are ready with our material. Right now, you can see that displacement is working. And when you start tweaking your parameters, you start blending with your sand over here. And you can have pretty good blends. You can go all the way up, or you can just show a little bit of the rocks beneath with this additional smoothness, or you can make it like that. Pretty much unlimited possibilities of this one. And you can, of course, expand it if you want. You can include more textures and learn between more textures based on the height. And this is pretty much very handy blending material for your game. If you want to create different zones with different blending, but using one same texture and blend it with a different one. Thank you guys for watching this one. I hope I teach you something and I hope this is useful for your game. If you have a problem and if you don't see the textures over here, what you need to do is you need to select your landscape, search for enable nanite, enable it and click on build data or rebuild data and everything will be fixed because displacement works with nanite. And before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created a Blueprints Masterclass for Unreal Engine 5. It is available right now on Udemy. So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support me and get access to all my files, also to the auto material that I've created previously, join my Patreon page for $4.99 and with your pledge you are supporting me to keep creating amazing videos like this. Each one of you can make a big difference by supporting my channel so I can keep making those videos. Thank you guys for watching this video, happy game development, I'm out.